Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you a app that allows you to use your Android smartphone as a webcam for your PC. Now there are plenty of apps out there right now that work with various operating systems, whether it be Android, iOS, Windows, anything like that. Uh, but this one in particular I have used with my Android smartphone, and I really have yet to see any videos showcasing it, so I figured I would give it a show for you guys. So this app is called DroidCam. Now, right off the bat, one of the best features of the app is the fact that you get to choose whether to transmit the webcam via Wi-Fi or micro USB. Now, of course, these should be included with your Android smartphone uh, as they are the charger and the way to connect to the PC. Now, when I use DroidCam on occasion, it is for my Twitch cast. So micro USB for sure is the way to go. I don't want any additional strain on my internet uh, other than the Twitch cast. And additionally, uh, as obvious as it sounds, Wi-Fi by nature is not a wired connection. Therefore, there are plenty of opportunities to lose the connection if you choose to go the Wi-Fi route. The other good thing about this app is that it is very easy to install. So first, you have to download and install the app onto your smartphone. Then you can head over to the link I provide here for your PC, download the client, and then after that is downloaded, you can go ahead and extract that zip, go ahead and run it, and just like that, it is installed on both your PC and your smartphone. Now if you would like to verify that the drivers are installed correctly, all you have to do is open your device manager, head on down to sound, video, and game controllers, and you can see that there are two drivers installed for the droid cam. Now I'm going to show you how to set up and use the droid cam. Again, this is very simple, so there's no complicated steps or anything like that. First, you have to open the app on your smartphone. And then, uh, if you're using the micro USB cable, go ahead and plug that into your computer. Once it's connected, you can go ahead and open droid cam on your PC. Now, you can ignore any kind of autoplay stuff, just like this, where it pops up for me when I plug in my phone. We're not going to do any of that. It doesn't matter. So here in the DroidCam program, you can see there are four tabs. Now, unfortunately, uh, this is not a complete in-depth look at the app because I have not used any of the tabs except for the over USB tab. But uh, I guess it's like a brief synopsis here. So the first tab is the Wi-Fi, connect over Wi-Fi. And just judging by this, it's saying that you need the device IP. Now again, I have not used the Wi-Fi, so I'm not exactly sure everything about that, how you can find the IP and whatnot. But it should be noted that the fourth and the third tab here are create Wi-Fi server and create Bluetooth server. So I am sure that they're all intertwined with this Wi-Fi here. But let's go ahead to the second tab. This is the tab that I'm familiar with, so I can go ahead and tell you all about this. Uh, it's very simple. This DroidCam port, I didn't touch, I didn't do anything, it just did that by itself, so you don't have to change that. There is no IP because you're not using the Wi-Fi. Right here you can choose if you want the video and or audio from your webcam. Again, uh, I would say just the video, because the audio would be absolutely terrible. Seeing it as a phone that is several feet away, it would just sound horrendous. Uh, video quality here, you can go low, normal, high. I honestly haven't touched that because I don't really think it changes too much. Uh, if you look right here, you can actually also see pro controls for zooming in, adjusting brightness, rotating, and all that. Uh, that, of course, is if you buy the DroidCam Premium version. Uh, so, I mean, if you want to spend your money on that, you can go ahead, but personally, I don't think it's really much worth it. Uh, so, let's connect the to the cam. It's very easy. All you gotta do, with everything plugged in, hit start. You'll see that window popped up very quickly, then it went away, and as you can see, right here, the cam is working. All that window was doing, which I didn't touch anything, it just went that quick. Uh, all it was doing was trying to see if your thing was connected, which it was, and then it showed the image. So it is that simple to connect over the USB. Again, I have not used the Wi-Fi myself, so I'm sorry that it's not really an in-depth look at that part, but uh, I think you should probably be able to figure that part out if you're going to use that. Now it should also be noted that you can use the front or the back facing cam. All you have to do is go into the settings menu of the droid cam and check whether you want the front or not. In the end, DroidCam is a pretty solid solution for anyone looking for a free alternative to a webcam. Now there is no replacing an actual webcam, but this is a very good stopgap. Alright guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. As I said in the very beginning, there are plenty of apps that do this exact same thing. So if any of you have any favorites, go ahead and please post them in the comments below.
Also, since this is my first video not centered around gameplay, if there are any suggestions of videos you guys would like to see me create, go ahead and post those, as well as the traditional feedback. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this app and have a great day. Game on, my friends.